This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your NHL play of the day for Friday, March 31st. We cashed an underdog winner with the Chicago Blackhawks on my last play of the day in the NHL, which was on Wednesday. We'll see if we can bring you another winning wager Friday night in NHL hockey action with just over a week left in the regular season as the playoff races uh, intensify in both conferences. We're going to go to the New Jersey Devils-New York Islanders matchup uh, for Friday night for the play of the day. Currently, the New York Islanders, a minus 170 home favorite, total of 5.5 in this game. And I'm really worried right now about this New York Islanders team. They've lost three straight games. And last night's performance, in a game you need to win, you know, to, to really can stay in the playoff hunt in the Eastern Conference. And they couldn't have started the game any worse. They give up five goals in the first period to the Philadelphia Flyers, down 5 nothing before you can bat an eyelash. In that, early in that hockey game. Just a brutal start. Thomas Grice gets pulled early in that game. Yaroslav Halak has to come in. Doesn't matter who the goalie is right now. New York Islanders are really sputtering defensively. You look at the goals they've allowed, it's not been pretty at that end of the ice. And even offensively, they've been held to three goals or less now uh, in three straight games. So you look at the way they came out, it was a gut punch of a loss as far as I'm concerned. Maybe a death blow to their playoff chances. I mean, they lost, they're already on the outside looking in, and everybody else in the Eastern Conference playoff race won last night. Everybody. Carolina won. Tampa Bay won. Boston won. Toronto won. Everybody won. So all these teams that they're behind and they're trying to chase, they all won. And the Islanders lost. I think that's a reverberating gut punch gut-wrenching loss for the Islanders. I think they know it deep down inside. If they're honest to themselves, look look, look at the standings here. They are six points back uh, of the Boston Bruins for that second wildcard spot in the East. Six games back with six games left. I mean, do the math. They're not catching them. Uh, they're not catching them. I mean, they, they've got some serious work to do. Uh, I don't see it happening as far as I'm concerned. The New York Islanders, uh, they look close to done to me. I don't know how you can come out and get behind Five nothing in a hockey game like that last night when you need wins desperately at this stage of the season to get in the playoffs. I don't know if they rebound from that. That's a mental. Uh, that that's just that just shatters your confidence and your mentality. A loss like that last night. Now you got to return and play 24 hours later uh, against a New Jersey Devils team that they're not playing great hockey. I'm not going to kid anyone to think that the New Jersey Devils are playing great hockey. Uh, you know, they've lost four straight games, but they've been competitive. You know, they're giving you an effort night in, night out. They beat the Rangers in overtime, 3-2. The Toronto game, they only lost that one, 4-2, and really battled. I mean, they really did. They gave the Leafs some headaches in that game. Uh, fought hard, 3-1 loss to Carolina, 2-1 loss in overtime to Dallas, 4-3 shootout loss to Winnipeg. So they've been right in all of these games. Uh, they haven't lacked for effort. That's been there for the Devils. The problem still remains for them, scoring goals. I mean, that's that's always been the problem for New Jersey, not only this year, but going back years past. Uh, the good news for New Jersey is they might have Mike Camilleri uh, back in the lineup tonight. He's been dealing with an upper body injury. Uh, he may rejoin the lineup tonight for this game against the Islanders. And Mike Camilleri is one of the few legitimate uh, snipers and threats offensively uh, on this New Jersey Devils team. So having him back on the ice would be big. Look, the Devils they haven't exactly fared well recently in Brooklyn against this Islanders team. You look at the recent series, Islanders have won four of the last five. I understand all of that. But boy, I'm really worried about this New York Islanders team. You look at their record on the second night of back-to-back -back games, it's not very good. Islanders are 5-8 and eight this season. Uh, playing the second night of back-to-back -back games. That's the spot they're in here. I don't know if they react mentally, uh, or if they can come back, I should say, mentally from that game last night against the Flyers, how with how dismal they played, how dismal they came out of the gate uh, in that hockey game, and seeing everybody, and I mean everybody, in that Eastern Conference playoff race around them winning last night, everybody but them. Uh, it's not a team I'm looking to lay minus 170 with. New Jersey is trying every night. You know, Mike Camilleri might be back for them tonight. I think they wouldn't mind sticking a little knife and twisting it here uh, and really delivering a final blow to any playoff chances the New York Islanders have. 
I think New Jersey gives them a game tonight. I'm willing to endorse them here at this underdog price. Let's make it official. Play of the day in the NHL for Friday, March 31st. See if we can cash a big dog winner on the New Jersey Devils, plus 150, rotation number three. The New Jersey Devils, plus 150, El Diablo against the New York Islanders. See if the Devils can be a live dog and put the New York Islanders and their playoff hopes to bed with a win tonight. Let's take a shot. New Jersey, plus 150, your play of the day in the NHL for Friday, March 31st. All right, that will wrap it up. I'm Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. Until next time, enjoy the games and good luck. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.